Hey, what's up guys? My name is Lead Squid, and welcome back to the Quantum SMP server. We are here in our beautiful starter base, which is a looking great today, especially with the sun setting. We can see the lights all making our very nice illuminated path, and I am loving the look of this. Down below, we've got our beautiful dock, and we've made this last episode. We've got an area to fish at. We've got tons of nice little details. Up here, we are in our main little base with all the little barrels full of different stuff, and mysteriously, our bed has disappeared. Our bed was right here in this spot and it's gone now which is really really weird so we're gonna have to get that back later but at the moment we're not gonna do that because we're gonna head over to the shopping district because there's something real special over there I'm gonna show you the plot of land that we're gonna get because today we've got big plans and big plans for the future so let's get right into that and let's head over to the shopping district right in front of my base there is this structure right over here now this little area of land is not occupied by anyone yet we can look over there. Yep, see, someone's building a shop on that little island. But right here, right here, at this land, right in front of our island, it's over there somewhere. This land has not been yet claimed. Now, what I hope to do is get enough money to buy this entire plot here. And now, it's very expensive because each 10 by 10 square is a diamond block. And if we want to buy this entire little section right here, that's a lot of diamond blocks. So you guys know what we're doing today. That's right. We're going into the mines once again. You know that my the thing. Oh my goodness. You know. You already know that the thing I hate the absolute most is going in the mines because the mines are scary. The mines are spooky. There's noises down there. There's stuff. It is no, no, no. It is not for me. But uh, with great fear, I have to head down there because we need this plot of land. It cannot wait. You can see. I also wanted this little island because I thought we could make some bridges over there. It would look nice. But somebody's already claimed it. Now, we do have the option to buy it from them, but it's just not worth it, and I think we're just going to buy this, and later on we might buy that plot if we want to expand our empire, but if we want to become the most powerful on this entire server, we are going to have to buy this plot. And it looks like Huey Go has got some problems. Someone destroyed his map, so there's clearly a trickster about messing around, so we're going to have to get to the bottom of this, find out what's been happening, and who's who's been destroying our stuff. Alright, so last episode, what we actually did when we went mining is that we went into one of the naturally generated mines around our desert, and that was pretty good for what we needed, a few pieces of iron, some coal, but overall it's just way too dangerous. Mobs spawn down there like crazy, and I don't want to risk that, so what we're actually going to end up doing is we're going to head out and make a strip mine. Now, it may not be as efficient, but it's just a lot safer, and it's my favorite method, so we're going to stick with it, and it's going to be great once we come back with tons of diamonds. Now, if we come down this hall, I've just found the first diamonds of the entire series. Look at them all here. I believe we only have five. I don't think there's any more underneath. No, definitely not. So, we're going to collect up these diamonds. And with these diamonds, I think it is time to start our mining montage. So, let's get ourselves some shiny diamonds. Let's get that achievement. Oh, there we have it. We got the achievement. I'm so pumped. All right, boys. Let's get straight into a mining montage. Welcome back everyone, and we have been down in the mines for ages. Now you probably had a neat little time lapse, or just every time we saw the diamonds, wow, you saw me mining them. But for me, oh my goodness, it has been ages. I have been in the mines for over six hours just to get these diamonds, but it's worth it because one day we will rule over these lands, and we won't need to mine for diamonds. No, we won't. 
because the shops will give us the diamonds we need. Now, once we open this beautiful chest, we will see that. Look at that. I'm so happy. We've got almost four stacks of diamond ore, not to mention a beautiful fortune book. So we can get about triple that. That's almost 12 stacks of diamond, a stack of diamond blocks. This should be plenty to buy the land we need because if it's not, I'm going to tell you guys, I am not. Go I cannot go back in the mines. No, 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 no. It's been too long. We're just going to have to use these diamonds to buy as much land as possible. But... Oh my gosh, I've been in the mines for ages, and I'm sick and tired of this work, so we have to do something more relaxing. Now, you've probably seen my mine opening. Look at it. It's just a staircase going down here, but there's nothing. It's not pretty. Nothing looks, so of course, we're going to have to decorate it. Stick with the wood theme. We're going to build a very nice mine entrance, and finally, get a little bit of a break. So, without further ado, the mine is going to be here in a three, a two, a one... There we have it. We have got a beautiful looking mine entrance. I am loving this because first of all, what we did, and you probably noticed, is we put sand everywhere. Before there were little spots of stone in big areas where there was exposed stone. We covered those up, got rid of them. And what's really nice about this oak palette is that it blends in pretty well with the stone itself. If you see up here back there, I have some smooth stone. Even got the creeper face in the middle, just as a little detail. And I got a birch door, which actually holds up these sand blocks, which altogether gives a very nice effect. And I just love how this all came together, and at night it looks especially good to the lanterns on the outside, and even a few on the inside. Now we're not going to decorate the whole tunnel because that would take ages, but overall, I'm very happy with this, and this turned out beautifully. Welcome everyone to this mushroom island. Here we are on the mushroom island, where we are going to make our giant land purchase. And as you can see, I've used the diorite to make an outline. These are separated by eight blocks, which represents how many blocks we're going to have to pay for so each of these 10 by 10 chunks is going to be a diamond block and after doing all the math all of this land out here is going to cost us about 80 diamond blocks which is 20 more than we expected however hopefully when using our fortune we'll get lucky and have plenty of diamond blocks if not we might have to head down to the mines we might have to like cut this section off for a bit, maybe shrink our land just a tiny bit so we can afford the majority of it just so we can start and make sure we have this land under our grass because we don't want anyone else to buy this so we're gonna have to buy it right away so what we are gonna do right now is we're gonna head home make a giant diamond pile and we're gonna fortune it all I think it's gonna look great so we're gonna head right over there get those diamonds ready and hopefully I do hope we have enough to buy all of this land here in the beautiful shopping district. Hello everyone, and you're probably wondering where we are. Yes, we are here on the greatest achievement so far. The diamond pile. Look at all this diamond ore. It is ridiculous. It is absurd. I never thought I would ever come out. I never thought I'd have so much diamond ore at one time. And now it is time to use the lucky boy. To collect as much of this as we can. We did it, my friends. And right now, we are currently the richest people on this server look at that we've got eight full snacks of diamonds along with 45 more that's almost a stack of diamond blocks that is absolutely ridiculous that is bonkers i can't believe how many diamonds we managed to collect and i was it was time well spent because with these diamonds we're going to start our new empire so what we're going to do now is we're going to take these over there to that mushroom island and turn them into blocks but before we do that we need to set up our empire and we're going to build a barrier to let people know that we're not messing around no 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 we're not messing around no that land over there in that shopping district is ours and we're going to use it with great pride so we're going to smell down some of these iron ores turn them into bars because we're going to make a border separating the rest of the shopping district from our ultimate empire and we one day we will we'll make so many diamonds we won't even have to go mining again so I have been gathering up resources because we are going to have to let everyone know that our plot of land in the shopping district belongs to us and no one else, I mean no one, 
can build there. So, I have made this very nice fence design, and what we're actually going to do is, I've collected most of these resources. A lot of them we've gotten from the mines, like the iron, the sand I had to get manually, and we had plenty of stone and andesite to spare. As you can see, now that we have the connected textures with the brick walls, along with the iron bars, it looks very nice and makes it pretty secure as well. Obviously, we've got some andesite slabs on the top and some smooth, smooth sand on the bottom, and all together, this looks really good. However, we are missing two two key blocks and those blocks are terracotta and ice and I do know that we've got a mesa biome and what I think is an ice spikes biome in this direction I haven't been there yet so we're gonna hope that there actually are there because I don't know if it's an ice spike biome or just a snowy biome either way we're gonna get ourselves some ice and some terracotta then we're gonna have all the resources we need now that we have brought all of our stuff over here we're gonna start working on this very nice looking fence and the first thing we need is to get our sand which is right over here so we can't use the sand in its raw form what we actually have to do is craft it into sandstone because then we can chuck the sandstone inside our furnaces and out will come our beautiful smooth sand you guys ready here it comes here it comes oh 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 I'm, I'm so, oh, here it is. There we have it, beautiful. So this is the first thing we're going to have to do. And then while we are waiting, I'm also going to start crafting up all our iron bars using, where is our iron? This is the worst organization I've ever had. Is it? There it is, all of iron. I'll craft those into iron bars along with the stone bricks to make the brick walls. And we'll get right into building a beautiful fence to show everyone that all this land belongs to us. We have just finished putting down our first layer of sandstone. As you can see, we've got five blocks between each of the little cyan terracotta pieces. And these are going to be the little differentials. As you can see, it goes down every one of these. And now what we're going to have to do is add in the brick walls and the iron bars. Now, we do have a bit on this side. The other side is a lot shorter since there's less land. But let's get right into it because we are almost done. Now that we've put down the brick walls and the iron bars, we're going to have to fill in all of these little gaps here with the cyan terracotta. So we're just going to go through here, placing the cyan terracotta, and then we can start putting the andesite slabs on top, and we'll be just about done. And I'm thinking this is already looking beautiful. We are going to have to do a bit of terraforming to make this look more natural, because I didn't want it to look weird, so I did space them out five blocks. So some of them are more elevated. You see that especially near the ends over here where they start floating a bit. So what we are going to have to do is a bit of terraforming forming using some of our stone just to fill in these high gaps up here but right now let's fill in all this terracotta and I cannot wait for this to be done because so far this is looking absolutely great and it's going to be an amazing project once it's done. There we have it. We have just filled in all the gaps with our cyan blocks. And now that we've got this, it's already looking absolutely amazing. And we do have to add the final block, which is the polished andesite slabs. So we're going to go over every single one of these blocks, place the slabs. And I'm thinking that on top of the cyan terracotta, we're going to place full blocks just to get that little difference and showing that it's a separation between these little sections. So let's get right into it. And after that, we will have finished this project. And we're going to have to make a little entrance here because it's got to look fantastic. And we have to let people know that this is our territory, not just some random territory. So let's get right into it. Welcome back everyone, and we have just finished off this beautiful fence which borders the rest of the shopping district and our plot. It's right here separating those two so everyone knows that this belongs to us and they cannot make their shops here. However, we need a way to have an entrance so people can come in here even though this is in their land. So right here I've left this big gap in between both fences because this is where we're going to have a little control center. And so far all that I've gotten for this is some ice because, oh it's on me right now, we're going to use this ice as windows just because it has a very nice touch and it's going to fit in nice with the pallet that we're using. But next thing we need is concrete which we don't have at the moment. So we're going to have to head back to base, grab ourselves some gravel along the some dirt so that we can build a bunch of concrete 
terraform this and finish up this part of the project. So, without further ado, let's go right home. Here we go, three, two, one, huh, and we're back. Except now, we have got ourselves some sand and some gravel. So what we are going to do is we're going to come over to one of these chests, which has, there we go, our black and white dye. Make ourselves some gray dye, because what we need now is gray concrete, not black. Gray concrete, especially not black. And we're going to use this to construct a few little towers over here. We're going to make little circles, and these will be the entrance to our thing. And I'm thinking that right above it, we'll have a podium with all our diamonds, so that people know that we have paid for this land, and this land is rightfully ours. So... I'm going to start building these, probably get ourselves some water buckets, and hopefully these towers are going to come out beautifully. There we have it right behind me. You can see the beautiful entrance to our plot of land. We have got two nice looking guard towers along with this little path. Now, these blocks here don't have anything yet. What I'm hoping is later on we can put pistons under them so they get shot up and they act as little pillars so that you can imagine there's like the car stoppers so no one could just drive in here or walk in here. And we can probably connect them into one of these towers because at the moment, if we come inside these two towers, they are both completely hollow. And there is a pretty good amount of space in here so we could use this to some extent and I am really liking the design we got with these it blends in very nice with the rest of the path just the cyan terracotta goes nicely with the build and then the gold oh the the ice on top gives it that nice effect it's like tinted glass because you can't actually see through it but it looks like there is glass then on top there's a bunch of different equipment there's lights and at night when you see those little red lights from the glowstone light up it just looks really cool and i'm loving the design of this now in the middle this little arch like structure this is actually where our diamonds are going to go because i want to let people know that our diamonds these are, we paid for this land this is a probably owned land we didn't just claim this land no we paid for it so now we are going to go back to the base grab our diamonds and stack them up here and this isn't that big of a platform so i'm expecting it to get pretty high just based on how many diamonds we have so let's head back grab ourselves our diamonds and finally we can officially say that we own this land now we do need a few more diamonds to own stuff but until then we can just keep mining until we get plenty of diamonds and by then we'll have the entire land to ourselves and we can finally start our business empire and we will have so many shops and we'll make so much money i am pumped for this so let's go home grab those diamonds and stack them up there we have it everyone we have done it we have brought all the diamonds over from our base to this island and look at them up there on their little pedestal now eventually we probably are going to have to transfer them from here all the way to the main pile but for now they are looking beautiful and i am loving this, this just look of every time you enter, you pass underneath these diamonds, how anyone who sees these diamonds knows that these are real. And I have counted up, there's actually 61 blocks, so we're going to have to go mining, but at least that way we'll know if we have them all. I doubt anyone will try to steal them, but if they do, then we'll know immediately. But I just love this, and I'm loving this fence design. So now... I'm afraid that we're going to have to do some terraforming because as much as I want to put it off, we're going to do it anyway. And I don't have that many resources for terraforming, so we're probably going to have to grind a bit. And I've been working a lot to make this episode, but it's alright because there's only a bit to do. And we are going to get to it right away, make some nice little cliff sides, do some interesting designs. And hopefully it'll turn out beautiful. So I hope you guys are ready because it is going to be a very interesting experience. And you guys have to tell me in the comments, what do you think about this May uh, design. I just love it a ton. I love the details and all that little things. I do think the towers look kind of flat, so if you guys have any suggestions, let me know. But now, without further ado, let's get right into some terraforming and get this project finished up. Look at that. We've got some beautiful terraforming over here, and I'm actually loving how this is a nice smooth descent. You've got the dirt that's hanging down, and you've got the mix of stone and andesite and there's even occasionally some slabs which just makes it have a really nice effect and it looks pretty good it turned out a lot better than i thought it would i decided a little waterfall right here just because there was this little cove where not much was happening and i decided you know what we'll put something so up here we've got the waterfall and down here at this smaller pond now i might connect this to the ocean but for now i've left it like this and i really like how it's nice and subtle it slowly goes and merges all the way to the other side and as you can see this is the same terraform we've got all the way on the other side we've got 
exactly the same thing. Pretty much the same design, same blocks. And overall, it supports the fence nicely. It looks realistic. And when you're up here, it doesn't look too bad either. So I'm really liking how this terraforming turned out. And now I really wish we could start working on the shops, but we have just about run out of time for this episode. So before we can end, we do have one last thing to attend. So let's head back to base, finish that up. And sadly, that's going to be the end of this episode. We are back at our base, everyone. And let's just say that the bed problem well there is no more bed problem because right behind me i have got a oh man do i have a lot of beds now i'd like to see the bed thief steal all of these because of my collection i will never need another bed in my life and i swear that this is the i don't think i've ever needed this many beds in fact i don't need them now but i have them which is absolutely great so if that bed thief strikes again we're gonna have to take matters into our own hands because no one's gonna steal my beds no 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 look into my eyes look Look into my eyes. Look deep into them. Don't touch my bed again, or I will find you, and I will kill you. Let's just say that a lot of sheep lost their lives to give me these beds, and if you steal them, you'll be next. I'm telling you, you will be next. I am just kidding with you guys. No sheep were hurt in the process of all those beds. Look at all these sheep. I've been breeding them up for the whole episode just for this moment. But I'm afraid we have just about run out of time. However, if you have stuck with me throughout this entire video, you're about to experience my new outro song. So you'll have to let me how you feel about this new outro down in the comments. But I'm afraid we've just about run out of time. So if you like this video, smash a like to let me know you're enjoying this series. Leave a comment for any suggestions. And again, tell me about that outro song. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!